That's the, really the first thing you need to do is be saved. So let's all just repeat this prayer. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father I, believe I believe Jesus died on the cross for me and rose again. I give you my life. I want Jesus Christ to come into my life and into my heart. In Jesus' name. Now the second thing I think you need to do is to be filled with the Holy Spirit. So I believe that when the Bible says, let me read you this scripture. In Acts, if you have your Bible, Acts chapter 8. It says in Acts eight fourteen, when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that the people of Samaria had accepted God's message, they sent Peter and John there, and as soon as they arrived, they prayed for these new believers to receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit had not yet come on them, for they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then Peter and John laid their hands on these believers, and they received the Holy Spirit. So I believe when you come up out of that water, if you've not been filled with the Holy Spirit, the Bible says when hands are laid on you, you will begin to pray in your heavenly language. Amen? Amen. And then let's look at Romans 6. The next thing that needs to happen is to be baptized. It says in uh, Romans 6, in verse 1, it says, Well then, should we keep on sinning so that God can show us more and more of His wonderful grace? Yeah. Of course not, since we've died to sin. How can we continue to live in it? Or have you forgotten that when we were joined with Christ Jesus in baptism, we joined Him in His death? For... For we died and were buried with Christ by baptism, and just as Christ was raised from the dead by His glorious power of the Father, now we also may live new lives. Verse 5. Since we've, been, since we've been united with Him in His death, we will also be raised to life as He was. We know that our old sinful selves were crucified with Christ so that sin might lose its power over our lives. We're no longer slaves to sin. Say that. We are no longer slaves to sin. That was one of the first songs that was sung Sunday night at our worship time. And that that has been a resounding yes. confession that's been made this whole week. And it's no mistake, your shirt says, I am free. Amen? Amen. Amen. We are no longer slaves to sin, for when we died with Christ, we were set free from the power of sin. And since we died with Christ, we know we also live with Him. Being baptized is a public, a public, um, something you do publicly to let everyone know that when I go back in the water, that old self dies. And I come up and I am free in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says that... Um, hang on. The Bible says in Romans 8, 2, that for the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. So when you come up out of that water, the law of life in Christ, in the Anointed One and through His anointing, that when you come up out of there, He will remove every burden and He will destroy every yoke in your life. Amen? Yes. I believe if you need healing in your body and it, and it didn't manifest in the service, that it will manifest in this water. Amen. I believe if you had addictions or any kind of uh, struggle, struggling or any circumstance going on in your life that you can't get free from, when you come up out of this water... You will be free. Yes. Amen? Amen? And you will leave that old self in the water. The Bible says if any man is in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things have been passed away. Behold, all things become new. This will help you understand the Bible even more because you're coming up fresh and you're, you're free. Amen? Amen? And so what we want to do is... Um, there's a couple of people that need to leave early. Um, we have a guy 
Where's the guy that's a worker here in the, the venue? Y'all give him a hand. And then the other, other gentleman with an international flight, we want to get to you for next. But this gentleman, he saw us setting up this baptismal pool, and he's like, I've got to get baptized. Wow. So we're excited about that. We want y'all to take pictures of your friends, your family, but please come over to this side and take a picture or that other side. We're getting video here in the center. So uh, please be respectful of that. And you're welcome to any pictures after that. And we're just so excited that you're that you made a decision to be baptized here at Southwest, our 50th year of ministry. And this is a first. This is the first time we've done this at uh, Southwest Believers Convention. So we're, we're going to get started. And once we get the two gentlemen that need to leave this first row, we'll just make a line and come up, and then uh, we'll keep it going. Amen? Amen. Amen. My day. <laughs> Remember John Gray Sunday night? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Well, thank you. Jesus is right. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, praise to the new life. Oh. Oh. Thank <laughs> you. 
some more. Get her, Holy Spirit. Let's get her.
Nice. <laughs> Thank you to all of you all that have gone out and done evangelism. You know, I'm just so proud of each one of you. How many have gone out? Many of you have. And we just want to say, as the event manager for KCM, you know, I know Riley head, has headed this up. He's done an amazing job Amen. with Brian and, uh, and Josh and these guys. I just want to say thank you all so much for your heart and your passion to go to go and uh, populate he heaven and uh, plunder hell. Amen? Amen. Amen. And, uh, so again, on behalf of the ministry, we want to just say thank you. We're just so... I, I get emotional all the time. So, Amen. Um, you know, I'm just so proud of you guys because you've taken time getting here early and going out and, and touching the people in the streets. And that's what it's about, you know. And then to do this, this is the very first time in, ever <laughs> that we've had a baptismal service and, it, and it's inside. So, um, just so, I'm just so happy for everyone who's gotten baptized. I'm just so proud of. Uh, the team that's put this together because it's not just one person it's a team of people that made this happen on a very short notice and uh, you all did it and so put your hands together yeah, it's nice to see y'all all get baptized. <laughs> <laughs> it's all going down. Don't break up. Don't break up. Can you look this way, too? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? God loves us. This is Kim's. This is your phone. Kim's phone. One, two, three. So awesome. Great. Oh, <laughs> 